Well, I always play. I always aim to be decent. So <laughs> glad you think so, guys. What counters Kerrigan? Uh, Medivh. Uh, some good cleansing. And funnily enough, sustained damage. Because Kerrigan will generally be accompanied by a burst support, like, or even invincibility, such as Medivh, Uther, Tyrael. And so actually sustained damage is what, what kills her. Just dodge the first combo and you'll be fine. Is the Q build ever viable for Lunara? Lunara? I'll occasionally get the Q at 16 if I think I have a very reliable target. It's really good burst damage. Like 600 or something at 16. I don't like the Q13 that too much, but the Q16 is good. Come and see her. Oh. Hey, Logie. High five. Good doggy. Uh, we banned the Zagara. Okay, that's nice. But we need Sylph. Can we pick up Sylph? If you can play her. Sylph. What is your best and worst battleground and why? My worst is Towers of Doom. I have less than 50% win rate on that map for some reason. My best map? I want to say Infernal Shrines probably. I haven't checked it out in a while. Yeah, Infernal. Okay, good. Yeah, I uh, straight. When people say as a warrior, when people as a warrior say Murden, is it better to jump the enemy backline and ruin their assassins play or stay and protect your own backline? Uh, if you have double warrior, it's okay to jump into the backline, Flutina. But if you're solo warrior, you should generally just stormbolt the enemy warrior, apply damage, thunderclap, and only go for an assassin if the fight deteriorates into a kind of chaos and you feel your backline can handle themselves. What counters Lunara? Um, Kerrigan. Good early game comps. Because she's a, kind of a late game hero. Are you going to play Warcraft Adventures? Yeah, let's go back in time and play Warcraft Adventures. Yes, it does, Monsieur Vrigul. Kirby, where's that Gul'dan play? Uh, not here at the moment. When is Warcraft? On Thursday. And you don't need capital letters to ask. It is time. It is time.
Be right back, wet restroom. Okay, wait. No, no. Chaos comes. You. Um, who? Me? Please, no one ever talks to you. The old god blasts. The battle begins in. Let's kick some ass. Okay, I'm gonna go for, um, let's see, do I need double back? They have, no, I don't think so. They have like two melee, two and a half. Probably go runic persistence. Bombs out for Harambe. Whoa! 
We need more than usual amounts of uh, people wave clearing. We already have a few heroes and they just completely abandoned middle. It's just... It's beyond me. Okay. Ariel then. You got a quest to do a convection. Or what? It's completed at least. Gonna go for... Uh, dark Descent. Spec pretty heavily into uh, the E, so Dark Descent should be nice. They have taken a fort. Do not let our enemy claim the Punisher's power. Okay, let's go. Uh, we're still losing a lot of XP. Take it, boys. <laughs> he was everyone's boy. Once the world knew about him. I don't always detonate at the best place possible, unfortunately. Yeah, where not to take fight against Jogar, that's true. Bombs 
<laughs> Dread shield usually the best. Yeah, I'm pretty focused, so not a lot of commentary. You are so useless. <laughs> Bye, Lily. Pulling back just because we're afraid to get ganked. Oh, secret repositioning. Just getting some mana, is it? Full HP Chogar. I think Crystal Easy is really strong. Because uh, it's it's like it, it's a reset of a fight. It's a level 10 ice block. A, a reset of a focus target. Also like the kit that it comes with. Yeah, rip bot indeed. Um, giant killer is pretty good against Muradin. I'll get the giant scorcher. I'm only doing like 350 damage to him every time. Wow, they're splitting heavily. Oh, nice. This Tyrael is good. Uh, Kalfas also died. Oops. Yeah, they're doing good now. Uh, extra splits. Falling a lot of XP behind as a result. Trying to steal it from us. They did good splitting. They did a one for one. Good effort. 
Nice. Okay. Should get it again. Uh, we also got back a bit of XP advantage. <laughs> yeah, you get away this time. Alright. Ni really nice choke play. I like sustained damage there. Nice. Bombs out for Choga for Novibi. Psychotic break. Just in case we die. Which we won't. <laughs> Beautiful. So psychotic break is like if you die, Gaul persists for 10 seconds, which is perfect for a core all in. Yeah. Uh, so since I couldn't speak much during the game, I'd like to speak more after the game. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, we never died, which is awesome. Uh, amazing show. Really good judgment of the situation. So, cool. Uh, Novus with the Joe plays. Uh, shove. I went for shove to dodge stuns uh, to get out of situations. Because the other one is Eye of Kill Rock. And although you have four charges and 45 second cooldown, the downside of it is that those charges cool come back in cooldown one after the other. So it takes up to 180 seconds to get all your charges back, which in my experience never happens. So you might as well have one or two charges on a shorter cooldown, you know what I mean? So Eye of Kill Rock is really cool, but it's just vision. This one, it's survivability, which is really important with Dark Descent, 20% bonus on your E. Um, and then we got Runic Persistence, so that I can have it either collapse on the first way in, or the way back if we didn't get a target on the first roll. Shield, I think it's just the best one. Uh, Giant Scorcher was for Murden, um, and just because it's a lot of extra damage. The alternatives are not bad at 16. There's one that slows or reduces cooldown. I think it's okay, but I think this is better. This one was for the core all in. Now he went for surging dash so that he can do a further initiation rollback so that I can blast it either on the way in or out, which I'm really happy that he took that because the level four that does the bonus 75% damage after the E is very powerful. But that one is more of a bruiser one where you, uh, which is extra attracti attractive if you take the 13 reduction in your blast. He did not, he went for Molten Block for safety. More is easy, uh, and uh, he went for the Hammer, and he even went for the Initiation with Crippling Blow, because he felt we did not need the survivability. Ariel of course went for Reservoir of Hope. The whole reason this works so well, not just the map Infernal Shrines, but also because Ariel and Cho'Gal together are a borderline overpowered combination. 
we still need to see kind of what could potentially counter it so i don't want to like get too much on that hype train but pretty much when oreo came out it's like oh my god her bestow hope works with everything including uh including Cho'Gall's both abilities generates hope from both adds ability power to both if you take it however reservoir is so good because we pretty much fill up her bar every two seconds and i went for shield of hope full flame strike build yeah generally with Cho'Gall you will want another warrior because while he can initiate the ac extra disruption that the second warrior can offer or protection is very useful to stay alive and if Cho'Gall stays alive especially with a support like Ariel his second best is probably Rhaegar but Ariel is the best by far because of how hope works is if Cho'Gall stays alive you're gonna win the fight pretty cool game Excellent work!